All right, welcome back to Gregory Boxing. Uh, this week we're going into the classroom uh, based on the fact that everybody's in shelter in place. We wanted to take a step back. Last night we talked about movement, and today we're going to talk about these four factors that we're hopeful that you'll add to your training program. Okay, so outside of this place and as a coach, right, I'm a law enforcement instructor. I work with the military, and I'm also a professor at a college. All right, so most of the time, everything that I do in here, I, when, it, when it's warranted, I'll take with me and I'll add little elements of what we do as boxers or Thai boxers and I'll add them to the training that I'm conducting with law enforcement and military and they're always happy about it. They add it to what they're doing and it, and it just goes on. But every once in a while, right, there's something that they have to offer my gym or you or, or any gym as a matter of fact and that's where these four elements come from, right? So while it didn't originate in boxing, it originates from combat, all right? So Adding these four elements to your training is going to give you the blueprint, right, in your mind to process your emotions, right, and respond and react correctly. All right, so I'm going to go over in order, and I'll go over breathing tonight. But the first one is breathing. To me, in a boxing gym, that's most important. Okay, then we're going to go visualization slash mental rehearsal, right, how you work things over in your mind, how you replay them, and how you visualize. All right, third is goal setting. All right, we're all gonna set these little goals. The little goals add up to be big goals, right? And then um, we're, we're gonna be adept at like achieving the big goals as long as we can get the little ones right on a daily basis. And last but not least is self-talk. All right, so I'll go over all of those individually tonight. I'm gonna start with breathing. All right, so when it comes to breathing, breathing as you guys are walking around, you guys are training, is insanely important and it's the one thing that when you first walk through the door that I recognize right away that you're not breathing properly okay breathing is an indication of the energy that you're spending right and it's also an indication of your efficiency okay so how you um, how you breathe when you're punching I use like little uh, catchy saying hey if you want to breathe if you breathe fast you're gonna punch fast uh, you know, if you breathe like a lion, you punch like a lion, I'll, I'll use anything that I need to to get through to you that breathing is important, right? Number one, like uh, it's oxygenating your blood, it's pushing the lactic acid out of your muscles, right? But breathing also calms down your mind, right? So in a fight, when a, when a kid comes back to home, if it's his first fight, that's the first thing that I try to do is get his breathing under control because I can tell if he's panicked and he's panting, right, what's going on in his mind Okay, he can't comprehend. It's going so fast, right? That as soon as we can slow the breathing down, then maybe he might be able to get some. Uh, he might be able to get some true advice or input in. And one thing that I can also tell you about these four factors is, if you could go back to your first fight, the first time you had a fight, if you did good or if you won, that's a huge credit to your coach. All right, because now think back that you probably don't remember it second by second, round by round, is probably this big messy blur, right? And if you did good, right, and you won, all you did was you went out there and you reacted. You did exactly what you were trained to do. Your mind and processing uh, your, in your emotions and like being able to perform under those conditions just wasn't there just yet, right? So adding these four factors to your training shortens that learning curve and it gets you to a point right where you can actually perform and think in there and uh, with me today uh, as always is coach jason brandsetter uh, from here at gregory boxing uh, coach any questions yeah where, where did this where did this come from where, where does this originate from okay so uh, navy special warfare command spent millions of dollars in fear research right so they wanted to train they wanted to train uh, their soldiers or their seals Right, they wanted a higher graduation rate going through buds. All right, so in their fear research, right, they came up with these four elements to add to your training program. And what it does is it reprograms, right, it, over a six month period or even shorter if you're committed to it, it reprograms your response, right, to an emotional situation, primarily fear. All right. So if you want to get crazy into the details and you want to watch uh, the History Channel did a good documentary on it, all you have to do is YouTube search uh, uh, Navy SEAL mental training and it's on the History Channel. That'll go through all the details, the science from what happens with your amygdala and how your amygdala, like uh, the, it sends out signals to your frontal lobe and how you're given a blueprint all right, to respond and react correctly. But trust me, if you work this in the gym um, as it's written, uh, it, it'll help you succeed. Anything else? No, it's good. I, 
I was going to ask how it relates to boxing, but you pretty much explained it already. Okay, and, the, the, and with the other thing with the breathing, right? Like, it doesn't matter, once you have your breathing conquered on the floor and in the gym, like you're breathing, right? You're breathing efficiently. You, know, you add a big, like, hush, like, to your punches and they're cracking, then it never really ends, right? And in a funny way, right? As a, as a let's say, say, like, not, it doesn't have to be a professional, somebody with experience, right? When you go to spar, right? And if you're gonna spar with somebody that you're competitive with, meaning, like, you want to get the best of them and you don't want them to get the best of you. You're minding your breathing, right? Because you're not going to let them see that you want to pant or that you're panting, right? Because that's a, that's a sign of weakness. But at the same time, all you're doing by controlling your breathing is you're slowing your mind down and you're giving yourself the, the chance to process information and respond the right way. <clears throat> Anything else? That's great. All right, thank you. And then uh, right away, we'll go through visualization, and then we'll go through all of them, and, and we'll upload them. Uh, this is just part one, breathing. Thank you very much. Thank you.